everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching so today's story will be in this look here and to create this look i used this awesome palette by Gwen Stefani with Urban Decay i love this palette so much look at this this palette is stunning and also I'm using these nails by Huda Beauty look at this so beautiful and I'm using the henna tattoo as well this is the style Bombay this one here that I'm using in my hands and this lipstick that I'm using is the color famous by Huda Beauty these new babies here and I love it, I had so much fun creating this look, I hope that you enjoy as well. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you still didn't and let's begin this tutorial. So let's get started, I just washed my face and now I'm gonna apply this elixir by Farsali, this is the rose gold. I love this stuff because moisturizes really well my skin, I like to mix with the foundation, I'm using the foundation Burn This Way by Each Face It and I'm the color vanilla. I like to apply this product in my face using this beauty blender, so I use just a little bit of foundation and I mix 3 drops of the Farsali. And then I just work this foundation all over my face, neck and chest. This is just to balance the look more. You can use any brush or beauty blender, makeup sponge that you have. And now telling you about this, for Sally, I love this stuff to use as everyday moisturizer. Oh my god, my skin looks so beautiful as you can see here. And also it gives a beautiful glow when you mix with the foundation. I love this moisturizer. In this case, I don't need to apply the primer in my face, so I just skip this step because the Farsali will already help to stick the foundation into my skin for much more time and this foundation that I'm using is light to medium coverage, I love this. It has a beautiful natural and matte finishing and a great coverage as well. I think this worth the price. As you can see here, I'm concentrating the foundation into my face and especially in the areas that I need more coverage, that is in my cheek area and just the rest left in my beauty blender I'm applying in my neck and chest. So you don't need to use a lot of products to have a good result. And then to conceal any imperfection, I'm using one of my favorite concealers by Urban Decay. This is the Naked Weightless Concealer. I love this concealer. As you can see, I use it every time. I just got another shade, by the way, and this is more close to my skin tone. And this is the shade Fair. It's not my exactly color, but using this color, I can already highlight at the same time. So I'm applying this concealer in the areas that I want to highlight, bring forward, and stand out more. To blend this concealer, I'm using the same beauty blender that I was using to blend my foundation. Here you have a natural finish and glowy skin, you just have to set everything using powder. I like to use loose powder by the way. You can stop here if you want but I'm going to apply the contour in my face. And today I'm using this product for the first time. I love this product because it blends so easily in the skin and have a great colors for light skin like mine. This is the cream contour and highlight palette by Velvet59. This palette is called Contour is a girl best friend and really is. So with a small brush I'm gonna use the dot technique to avoid the excess of product. I'm gonna start using the middle shade of the contour palette. This will match really well for a contour in my skin tone. This shade will create more dimension, sculpt and make my face appear slimmer. Will also lift my cheekbones because I like it, make my nose really small and draw my jawline. You don't need to do this technique if you don't like a lot of product in your face. But I really don't mind about it, it looks so great in pictures. So for fun, I love to do this contour technique using cream. You can also do this technique using powders, but I like to use the cream contour first and then I set it with the powder. This way the contour will be a little more stronger and will look so beautiful in the pictures. So this technique I like to use for special occasions because I prefer for me a natural makeup look. I believe it looks better on me. And then using another small brush, I'm gonna use this lightest shade of the palette to highlight and bring forward and stand out some places in my face. I know I used the concealer before, but this is part of the game. So don't be afraid and let's do it. And to do this technique, you can use whatever you have at home. You can use concealer or foundation, whatever you like, whatever works best for your skin. You just have to use a lighter and darker shade than your normal foundation, but the contour palette is more light coverage. 
The contour palette is not like concealer or foundation. These products are created to give light and shadows to your face and not to cover an imperfection, for example. So if you have already a great skin, you can use this technique and skip the foundation or concealer or even use just a concealer and this technique using the contour palette, it will look so beautiful and avoid the excess of product. But if you need more coverage, I recommend you to first cover any imperfections and then you do this technique. It will give you a much better result. And done, this is how I contour and highlight my face and now I'm gonna just blend everything together and I promise it will look so beautiful when you finish because the beauty blender will remove the excess of product. In this part you can blend using a brush if you want to. And to finish my skin here, I'm gonna just apply the powder, this is how it looks when I contour and highlight. I'm gonna use the Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier, I love this powder. And first, I'm gonna remove the excess in my brush. I don't wanna bake today, so I'm gonna use just a little bit of powder in my brush just to set everything in my face. I'm using this brush, my favorite brush by Sigma, this is a Spotlight Duster, I love this brush to apply any powder or blush. This brush is amazing, I love it. If you get any product by Sigma, you can use my code MELISSASB for 10% off in any purchase that you do in the sigmabeauty.com. And ta -da, let's save money and get pretty at the same time. <laughs> and here I'm using this Duo Brow Powder by Sigma, this is the color medium. I'm using the darkest color from this Duo and the brush that I'm using are from Machibis Cosmetics in the Luxury Brush Set. I love this brush to do my eyebrows. This is a firm angled brush, but you can use any brush that you want, so I just filled my brows and look the difference, oh my god. Finally, eyebrows done and now let's move on to the eyes. In my eyes, I'm gonna apply one of my favorites, okay, one of my favorites again because I only use what I like. And this is why I recommend to you. So I'm gonna use one of my favorite primers of all the time. This is a primer potion by Urban Decay. This will prevent my eyes from creasing and make my eyeshadows last longer. So I'm gonna apply all over my lid with a cream color brush and then I'm gonna blend with my finger, as always, just to avoid any harsh lines. And today in my eyes, I'm gonna try for the first time I got this palette about a month ago. This is the palette by Gwen Stefani with Urban Decay. Oh my god, look at these colors. They are stunning, everyone can use this and the pigmentation is crazy. But you can blend so easily. I love all the Urban Decay eyeshadows and all the products from this brand as well, but especially the eyeshadows. This palette here really worth the price and if you are not a makeup artist, you can use this palette every day and you have it for the rest of your life. So I was so excited talking about this palette that I completely forgot to mention what I was doing here. First I did my transition shade using the color Stark, using a blending brush, working this color in circular motions in my crease. And now I'm using the blackest eyeshadow of my life, this is the color Blackout, also from this palette here. I'm applying this color using an angled brush, drawing the shape of the this makeup look, I will create an angled big eyeliner in my outer corner and then there's no need to be perfect because using this pencil brush we're gonna blend everything. Besides 
instead of the black, I'm gonna apply this color called Pink. This color is so different than you see in the palette. I don't know why, but as you can see here, it's much darker. It's not exactly as you can see in the palette, but it's also a beautiful color. I'm applying this color in my other corner, blending to my crease using this small fluffy brush. Doing this, I'm gonna just create a cat smoky eye shape. Now I'm gonna use this really cute light pink eyeshadow, it's like a toasted pink. This shade is called Baby and I'm gonna apply this color in my eyelid using a normal eyeshadow brush. To highlight below of my brows and in my tear duct area, I'm gonna use the color called Skin. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this eyeshadow is in my skin tone and it's not matte, it's not shimmery, so I love it. It's just to give you a beautiful glow in the skin. Now I'm gonna line my eyes using the Wicked Gel Liner Waterproof by Sigma and this really small angled brush. I love this brush to line my eyes. I'm gonna apply this gel liner in my lower lash line too and in my waterline really carefully then I'm gonna just smudge this gel liner in my lower lash line using a little bit of the black eyeshadow and then to complete the eyes I'm gonna use my favorite lashes at the moment oh my god look at these lashes this is the style Fada by Huda Beauty look at these beautiful lashes I got addicted when I receive it and now I just can't stop using I think I need more this is a really beautiful style of lashes just try it yourself and tell me what you think Stunning eyelashes on. Now I'm gonna bronze my face using the bronzer Beach Bunny by Too Faced. Just to give more life in my face, and when I apply any color of pink blush or coral blush. But I feel that I need something else, and this bronzer is perfect. To highlight my face, I'm gonna use the color Grace by Gerard Cosmetics. One of the best shades for my skin tone. I love this color. Oh my god, look at this. I never like it of a really strong highlighter, but this one just got my hair. Oh my god. God. The color is so beautiful and you just need a little bit of product to have this effect here. Look at this. You can use my code MelissaGC for 30% off in the jarcosmetics.com. This is also a good thing. Like I said before, let's save money and stay pretty. Oh, so I'm applying this highlighter in my cheekbones, in my cupid bow, in my nose and a little bit in my chin and forehead. Look at this glow, girl. And to finish completely this look, I'm gonna use this lip liner by Huda Beauty in the shade Famous. This lip liner is perfect. Wow. It's just a beautiful shade to apply on your lips. I love it so much, especially because it matches with my nails. I'm gonna use this lip liner as my lipstick and it lasts so longer. I love this product so much. I needed to use a makeup remover to take it off from my lips. And another thing that I like it is that it don't stay in your lips when you remove with a makeup remover. It just works so well and the colors are so pretty. This is my favorite shade of lipstick as you can see. I own use it or a nude lipstick I have these two modes or is this kind of wine color or it's nude here in the YouTube I love to show you different things and colors but for me I love this one and nude so to conceal around my lips I'm gonna use this lip concealer by Sigma this is my favorite lip concealer I'm in the shade lose the halo I like this product because it's lightweight when you apply it in your lips you don't need to apply a lot of products in your lips and it also moisturizes your lips so with this brush I'm gonna apply just a little bit around my lips to correct any mistake or to make this lip color stand out much more making the edges of this lipstick really perfect so that's it my lovies for this tutorial i hope that you enjoy i had so much fun creating this look for you for me it's so different but i love it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you still didn't and follow me on instagram to see more pictures of my work also if you like this video please give me a thumbs up it will help me to spread more my videos and will make me so happy if you have any ask or suggestions please visit my blog or leave a comment here below and i see you in the next time Bye!